Hi, welcome back to web design. We're looking at our assignment 3.6, and this is our CSS assignment, turning your essay into a website. So in order to do this, you had to have done your unit two essay about being a webmaster. So let's look at this assignment. You open up the essay that you wrote for unit two. If it isn't in Notepad already, you certainly want to copy and paste it into Notepad. And then you save it, the extension to HTML, and use your internal cascading style sheet to set the properties for the page background color, title, body text, and citation. The citation information is where you found the information. Then you save your file in the Unit 3 folder as cssassignment.html. And you don't have to zip it because you just have one file. You don't have any pictures. So that's all you need to do to submit your assignment. So let's look at the grading criteria. So once again, this is worth 36 points. Well, how do you get your 36 points? First, you get six points for giving the two sources a different style. In other words, you have to create a background style for your sources, for your web page links. So your file type needs to be saved as a .html and it has to be written in Notepad. You shouldn't have any spelling or capitalization errors and you have to make changes in color, font, and size for the background and for three fonts. Check your colors, make sure they look good together, that they have proper contrast. All right. And then, of course, your file needs to be named and submitted properly. Now, most people will not have a hard time getting the full credit on this assignment, but it's easy to forget little things. What you guys may not have understood is we've already been using CSS code. When you did your invitation assignment, you already had CSS code in there. You had a, a style for the title text a style for the background color, a style for the citation, and of course you had a table, and we're not you don't need that particular one, but you can copy uh, some of the stuff you have in here. So you see in the body, what you did was you put a span in, and you put in the class BG color, and BG color is up here, right? So you have the dot BG color, and in the body, you cited the background color. That's how you introduce the background color. When you want to put your title text in, this was your title text right here. Then you also needed the site text for image courtesy of K12.inc. So you've already used these. You just didn't realize that that's what you were doing, okay? So why would you use CSS code in the first place? Well, it just makes your coding simpler. You could use HTML text on your whole web page. It would be very big. But, you know, you can just put some summary up at the top that you want all your paragraph text, say, looking like this. And maybe you want your titles looking like this. And then you just put in some type of notation up in the header section. This is what you want your regular text to look like, and your title text to look like. So you just have to add this descriptor up in your head section right after your title, and then you can add any properties you'd want. So here's an example right here. If I wanted this to be my normal up here, my normal font, I would call my style normal font, and then I say, well, I want REL, I want it size 12 point, and I want the color blue, and I want it bold. So that's how you would say, that's how you would write it in CSS code. Then, of course, you'd have to call it inside the code once you've defined it. Here's your definition up in the header section. In the body, you've got to call it to use it. Now, your first section, of course, just like everything else, you have the HTML, you have the head, 
and they want you to copy and place this into a tech file to, to practice. But I'm just showing you how this works. You have the CSS example. Here's your little kicker saying, hey, web browser, we're going to use CSS. And here you're defining a paragraph, right? You say, I want my color green. I want my fit font weight bold. And I want my font size 12 points. And uh, that would be the end of your head section. All right, then you go in um, and you make your body section. Now, if you're writing your essay, see where this little black sentence here is? This would be where all the text would go in your body, okay? But you would probably also want to put in there um, little citations for your other styles. And I'll show you how that's going to work in just a minute here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little text editor here that you can see what's going on. All right, this is some way you might start off. You begin with HTML and close with HTML. You make a head section, right? And then you have your title, and I put for a title here, Webmaster, then I ended the head section there. Here's the body. This is where my Webmaster um, essay goes, right? All your essay will go in between there. So let me go and get a essay to put in there. Okay, here's somebody's assignment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything right click copy and i'm going to paste it right in the body here right click paste now first thing of course i'm going to delete all these egregious little spaces here's the basic web page there's nothing here that's special if i pull up in design view you can see there's no highlighting whatsoever because we haven't put any html code we haven't put any CSS code, but that's what it looks like right now, okay? And one thing you can see is there is a lot of what. You shouldn't have all these errors. If you have more than four errors, you've lost six points. So what are you going to do? Make sure that spell check. So I've just spell checked this. This is something you might want to do, say, in Microsoft Word or something like that before you uh, put it through your text editor. So the first thing I want to do under title is I want to tell my web browser that I'm going to be using CSS. So I click enter. I put style type equals text slash CSS. And then I got to close out the bracket there. So you see this is an editor, so it automatically provided my tag team pair here my closeout style, but I'm going to put that down below here because I've got other things to write. So the first thing I want to do is a black background color. Hmm. So I'm just going to type one in here, B, I'm going to call it background color. And I'm going to start with a curly bracket. And I'm going to say, okay, I want background dash color. And I can pick a color here. That's too easy for me. I'll just put in my hexadecimal code. So I'll put in here my pound sign and 00008B for blue, the semicolon. And now I can end this for my background color. So what am I going to do now? I want a regular paragraph and I want it green, right? So I can add that in here. So you can put the color green in just as much. So I'm going to put dot paragraph. You got to start it with a dot. I'm going to start it with a semicolon. I want the color of the text to be green. I'll put in a semicolon. I want the font weight to be bold. Let's go spell it right. That's the nice thing about having a fancy text editor is it tells you when you're not doing something right. Bold. We're going to do font size, 12 points. So um, we end this with a curly brace. What else do we need? Let's do our title text, okay? Dot title text. And let's see, we'll have it font family Arial. We'll 
we'll have font size 42. Or two pixels. Color. Well, I don't know. Zero zero six four zero zero. You can put in a regular color there, it isn't a big deal. Okay. So we've got one more thing to do here. We need to put in here um, what type of our citation is. I put dot site text. You can put whatever you want. You don't have to name it this, whatever is meaningful to you. Hit enter. And font family. Okay. Ariel. Font size. Sixteen pixels, font weight bold, in color, we'll do um, pound nine ninety three to CC. All right, so now I've defined my style here, but there's nothing at all for me to use them yet, okay? So here's my body. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a paragraph marker. And I'm going to take my ending paragraph marker and move it to the end of paragraph. I do the same thing here. And I'll put this at the end here. And um, I'll put paragraph markers around this. All right. So I've got um, this section paragraphed out. So see now, it just is paragraphed out. There's still nothing special about it because I haven't formatted anything yet. So I go back in my code. So I've defined my styles, but I haven't used them anywhere. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the body. And I want to put in my background color, class. What's, what class am I using? Background, what's my black background? My background is called BG color. So I'm gonna call BG color. I'm gonna do that to my body tag, I think. I'm gonna take that out of there. Put it in my body. That's better. All right, so I'm gonna put in here um, I'm going to name my essay Webmasters. I'm going to go home and my paragraph tag and close it out here. So I've got one well, Webmasters, I got my paragraph tag. So now what am I going to call? I'm going to call my class here. What class did I have? Title text. So I'm going to put style for class equals title text. Okay, so let's look at it. There you go, there's the heading. Now I'm going to change that background color, it's way too dark for me. I'm going to call it yellow. See if that does anything. I like that better. 
Okay, let's go back to the code. All right. So the next thing we do, we've got our background color in here and we've got our title text in here. So I'm gonna use my paragraph code as what? My paragraph code is called dot paragraph. So I'm gonna go class equals paragraph. That's equals quotation marks around a paragraph. Okay. So I'm also going to do that here on the second paragraph. Class equals paragraph. So what's that looking like? There you go, that's what that looks like. All right, so now I'm going to do my citation text. So I come down here, class equals citation text. And this paragraph, I modify that with class equals cite text. Okay, so I save that. Check it out. So there you go. This is what it should look like. So although I've done this in my little web editor, um, you're going to do the same thing. Only thing is you're not going to have the color coding to help you. Okay. So as you see, I've been switching back and forth between the panes. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be writing it in your um, text editor. So I'm going to copy all this and I'm going to open up my uh, notepad and there it is. So I'm going to save this as what? File, save as. Okay, I'm going to save it to my unit 3. I'm going to call it CS assign CSS assignment dot um, HTML. So now if I go open it in a browser, I'm going to op click open, and here's my CSS assignment. I double click it. Now I've opened it up in the browser, and here's my assignment. See, the thing is, is that um, what, what you will do is you will save it, and you'll make changes to it as you go, as I did. And um, It'll be a lot of fun. You'll enjoy it, okay? Okay, the reason I did this assignment in the text editor was of, because of the color coding so that you could see what was going on. Okay? I hope that's helpful to you. Thank you.